குட் மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இன்னைக்கு டென்த் சயின்ஸில் ஃபஸ்ட்டு பயாலஜி யூனிட்ல என்ன இருக்கும்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அனாடமி அண்ட் ஃபிசியாலஜி லாஸ்ட் வீடியோவில் பிளான்ட் அனாடமி பற்றி ஒரு வீடியோ பண்ணியிருந்தோம் ஸோ அதுக்கு நல்ல ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் இருந்துச்சு இப்போது நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்ட் இதே லெசனில் செகண்ட் பார்ட்டாக கொடுத்துருந்து பிளான்ட் ஃபிசியாலஜி இந்த பிளான்ட் ஃபிசியாலஜி என்னென்ன பார்ட்ஸ் இருக்குது என்ன ஒர்க் பண்ணுறோம் இல்லை அதில் என்னென்ன கொஷின்ஸ் வரும் அது எப்படி ஞாபகம் வச்சுக்கிறது அப்படிங்கிற டிப்ஸ் தான் இந்த வீடியோவில் இருக்குது ஸோ இது ஜஸ்ட் ஃபுல்லாக கோ த்ரூ பண்ணுங்கள் ஏதாச்சும் டவுட் இருந்துச்சு அப்படின்னா நீங்கள் கமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்கள் அதுக்கான எக்ஸ்ப்ளனேஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீடியோவில் போகலாம் ஃபிசியாலஜி அப்படிங்கிறது பேசிக் என்னன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் லிவிங் ஆர்கானிசம் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் பார்ட்ஸ் ஒரு உயிரினத்தோட ஃபங்க்ஷனும் செயல்முறையில் பற்றி படிக்கிற சயின்ஸ் பிரான்ச் தான் ஃபிசியாலஜி அப்படிங்கிறோம் அது உயிரினத்தோட ஃபுல் அமைப்பையோ படிக்கலாம் இல்லாட்டி அதோட ஒரு பார்ட் ஒரு ஆர்கனையோ இல்லை இந்த ஆர்கன் இருக்கிற செல்லையோ இல்லை செல் இருக்கிற செல் ஆர்கன்ஸோட ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸை பற்றி படிக்கிறது தான் ஃபிசியாலஜி நம்மளுக்கு பிளான் ஃபிசியாலஜியில் தே கிவிங் டூ செல் ஆர்கனல்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் குளோராப்ளாஸ் செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் மைட்டோகாண்ட்ரியா பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு தி ஃபிசியாலஜி ஜஸ்ட் யூ கோ த்ரூ தி சைட்டாலஜி சைட்டாலஜி இஸ் த பிரான்ச் ஆஃப் சயின்ஸ் விச் டீல்ஸ் வித் தி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் செல் in cell only three important organelles having double membrane structures appo namakku first e therinjirukonu or cell la moone moonu organelles ku mattum da double membrane wall irukku adu enna enna appdin pathina nucleus chloroplast and mitochondria when there is a double membrane structure it is a eukaryotic cell so the basic cytology says that eukaryotic cells only having டபுள் மெம்பரின் செல் வால் செல் ஆர்கனல்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் நியூக்ளியஸ் குளோராப்ளாஸ்ட் அண்ட் மைட்டோகண்ட்ரியா இன் அவர் சாப்டர் தே கிவிங் குளோராப்ளாஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் மூவிங் டு தி குளோராப்ளாஸ்ட் தே கிவிங் அஸ்ட் ஆஃப் பிளாஸ்டிக்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் பிளாஸ்டிக்ஸ் பிளாஸ்டிக்ஸ் இஸ் அ மெம்பரின் பவுண்டர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் விச் கேன் யூஸ் ஃபார் ஸ்டோரேஜ் பர்பஸஸ் ஸோ இதர் இந்த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் டை ஆர் இந்த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் பிக்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபுட் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் depends upon the pigments they classify into three types chloroplast chromoplast leucoplast the name itself is a self explanatory chromoplast chroma means colorful so we can find out uh, red yellow orange pigments we can see in a lower form of algae like uh, orange algae red algae brown algae then we have chloroplast chloro means green so when uh, green color pigment is present so we can see the plants are green next is leucoplast leucoplast is colorless plastic so it's only uh, for the purpose of storing food materials when you see the functions of chloroplast and chromoplast both doing the functions of photosynthesis so photosynthesis it need a color pigment to uh, attract sunlight the most asking questions are structures of chloroplast functions of chloroplast structures of mitochondria and functions of mitochondria this is very important same thing you can go for uh, types of respiration aerobic and anaerobic respiration in two mark they want to ask uh, respiratory questions what is rq in the questions und adhigama kepanga so structures of chloroplast uh, functions of chloroplast mitochondria same thing types of respiration then you go for rq idu vandu adhigama kekkuri kelvi so idu vandu nama nalla padichu vechukonu Uh, first we are going to see the ultra structures of chloroplast chloroplast i already told you it having double membrane structure namu paathave theriyu rendu distinct layer irukku indha padam vandha nam book la romba chinna da kuduthirukanga konja enlarge panni paathina ungalukku theriyum you can see in uh, mobiles and google also it's available a double membrane structure so you draw the oval shape a double membrane structure uh, you can mark the inner membrane outer membrane then after that is the middle space called intermembrane space then you go for a coin uh, like structures a rack of stack of coin like structures called thylakoid uh, the, the stack is totally called as granum this coins each and every one coin is called thylakoid each and every granum is connected so it is interconnected then it having a ribosome it having its own uh, chloroplast chloroplast it having droplets of uh, lipids starch granules and ribosome since it's having a chloroplast dna it is self autonomous so when you come across the cell organelles of uh, eukaryotic cells only mitochondria and uh, chloroplast only having dna which is circular in shape so it is self autonomous 
cell ornaments then you can write the structures uh, in detail first you draw the diagram label the parts then go for the structures envelope stroma thylakoids granum that's enough you can take the four marks if they ask in the seven marks it is a part of a seven marks so go with the diagrams then go for the points uh, the important points are it having a circular dna 70s ribosomes eukaryotic cells having 80s ribosome but only mitochondria and chloroplast having 70s ribosome next functions of chloroplast functions of chloroplast is photosynthesis storage of starch synthesis of fatty acids storage of lipids formation of chloroplast so these are the functions of chloroplast photosynthesis we have the basic photosynthesis equation carbon dioxide plus water giving glucose water and oxygen uh, when you see in detail it need light and chlorophyll so photosynthesis happens only in the daytime alone then it liberate oxygen then uh, photosynthetic pigments uh, it having chlorophyll a this is the primary uh, pigment of all the angiospermic plants then sunlight sunlight play vital role in uh, photosynthesis depends upon the presence of sunlight uh, depends upon the actions of photosynthesis we classify into two stages one is light reaction and then dark reaction it is only based on the depends of sunlight when the reaction need sunlight it is called light reaction or light dependent reaction uh, the reaction doesn't need uh, sunlight it is called dark reaction or uh, light independent reaction it doesn't mean dark reaction taking place in the night time okay both are taking place in the day time only but it need light reactions need sunlight dark reaction doesn't need sunlight uh then we have uh, more to know this is also important for one marks A atp adp nad nadp so these are the important components which come across with the uh, physiology of plants and animal cells uh why it is called uh, what is the energy currency of the cell this uh, frequently asking one mark atp are you watching triphosphate is called as uh, energy currency of the cell uh, this only produced in uh, respiration in mitochondria uh, when you see the reactions of uh, photosynthesis if you write in reverse order you can get the respiration that means uh, gl glucose burned with oxygen it liberate carbon dioxide and water and energy so this is the reversible reactions of uh, mito uh, photosynthesis is respiration so photosynthesis is nothing but reduction of carbon dioxide same thing when you see the respiration it is a oxidation of glucose uh, then uh, this light independent reaction it was uh, proposed and uh, demonstrated by uh, kelvin so it is called as kelvin cycle after this this is the over uh, view of hill at kelvin cycle light dependent reaction what is light dependent the water is splitted into a hydrogen and oxygen by means of light energy then this hydrogen is added to the atp and it convert to adp then nadp in convert to nadph2 in this is going inside the uh, kelvin cycle that energy is converted carbon dioxide into glucose this is the uh, overall reactions of photosynthesis which is having a light reaction and dark reaction then factors affecting photosynthesis is important to mark there are two factors internal factor and external factor internal factor is pigment leafage accumulation of carbon carbohydrates hormones so pigments when you see the higher pigment it is increasing the rate saying leaf of the age when you it's going very old the photosynthesis rate will be affected depends upon the uh, age of the leaf accumulation of carbohydrate when the carbohydrate is high in the plants so the photosynthetic rate will be going down when the carbohydrate is less the photosynthetic rate will be high then hormones there are several hormones playing vital role uh, you can stay in higher classes then external factors light carbon dioxide temperature water and mineral elements light uh, photosynthesis happens only in the from in the presence of light carbon dioxide we know that it's a main component of photosynthesis in water 
temperature and mineral elements. These important two mark they may ask. The next structure is uh, mitochondria. It is called the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, it was uh, first discovered by Kolikar in uh, 1857. Uh, this is the structure of uh, mitochondria. So it having a inner membrane, then outer membrane. Here we have finger-like projections. This finger-like projections are called uh, cristae. In the cristae we have uh, small uh, particles called F1 particles. It also having a ribosome, 70s ribosome, then circular DNA. The inner post is called uh, matrix. In the chloroplast it is called stroma. Then this is also important to mark. They frequently asking the structure of axisome. Axisome is having a F1 particle, having a stalk and a plate. So it will be present in the cristae. So cristae is having numerous uh, F1 particles, which is play vital role in the respiration. functions of mitochondria it is a powerhouse of the cell i think but it producing atp atp is the energy currency of the cell so atp is synthesized in mitochondria it help in the maintenance of uh, cal calcium ions then relate the metabolic activity of the cell everything energy aspect it is depends upon the presence of mitochondria depends upon the need of a cell this mitochondria number will be vary depend uh, in the cell to cell it will be vary then types of respiration Uh, there are uh, two type of respiration is happening one is aerobic respiration another one is anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration the name itself having a meaning it need oxygen so uh, oxygen is needed for the respiration it is called aerobic respiration when the absence of oxygen also respiration is taking place that is called anaerobic respiration it is uh, having a step by step process one is glycolysis krebs cycle and electron transport chain glycolysis nothing but glucose is splitting so glucose plus oxygen it produce carbon dioxide plus water plus atp we write this equation opposite direction uh, water plus carbon dioxide produce glucose and water this is nothing but photosynthesis so the photosynthesis and respiration are just opposite reaction uh respiration is an oxidation reaction photosynthesis is a reduction re reaction anaerobic respiration some bacteria can doing this anaerobic respiration even our cell also doing anaerobic respiration while doing exercise uh, if you having uh, anaerobic respiration is taking place inside our cell muscles next is respiratory question it is so important to mark respiration question is nothing but uh, how much oxygen is consumed and how much carbon dioxide is liberated the ratio between the liberation of carbon dioxide and the consumption of oxygen is called a respiratory portion depends upon the food material this respiration portion will be increasing uh, that's all about uh, mitochondria and chloroplast uh, points to remember uh, just go through the diagrams first uh, three diagrams are in this chapter uh, especially in physiology uh, structure of chloroplast structure of mitochondria and axisome important aspects of question sir uh, consider two mark what are the types of respiration what are the stages in the photosynthesis what are the stages in the respiration then what is respiration question these are the important two marks then what is photosynthesis uh, just they asking with the equations then uh, two mark uh, four mark aspects we have see the factors affecting uh, photosynthesis depends upon what are the types of plastids overview functions of chloroplast and functions of mitochondria structure of chloroplast and structure of mitochondria they are asking in the form of uh, four marks or uh, seven marks is combined with some other questions and that's all about this physiology lesson just go through uh, write and see everything especially in the equations there are three equations in this physiology one is photosynthesis uh, respiration In respiration we have aerobic respiration separate equation and anaerobic respiration separate equation anaerobic respiration uh, another name is called as fermentation so these are the important points just go through these things i hope this will be useful for you
if you have any topics very difficult if you feel very difficult and doubt just command the chart topics next video we going to the thank you